traders, FS Percolante here. Today is Friday, July 19th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So, on the Aussie dollar, I still am looking at this as three waves up for W, three waves down as X. I still think it's most likely that it will end up making three waves up for wave Y, which I still think is likely to go all the way up to one of these higher Fib levels and eventually take out the previous highs. So, let's look at at that on the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame definitely has turned down pretty strong this week but for now i'm definitely still looking at this as like a wave one it definitely still looks like an abc of two i'm still calling it a wave three i mean we definitely haven't broken any struts or anything to prove that it's not a wave three yet so i'm still betting on these higher time frames that it will continue to make higher highs higher lows in this wave three so going down to the daily time frame definitely a pretty strong move to the downside as you can see until it actually goes down and starts breaking some very significant struts so I would definitely still be looking at this move down as possibly a Kretzen to the move up. Now either way though because of the daily time frame being my roadmap time frame I'm definitely looking for sorts on sort of time frames and if I'm wrong about this going back up and I'm looking for sorts it really shouldn't create any issues at all. If anything you'd probably be making more money being incorrect about your LE wave count. Going down to the 4 hour time frame is where I got my Fibonacci retracement on this last push up right here. I'm still watching these Fibonacci levels very, very closely. We are approaching the 61.8, which could be an area where it turns. If it does bounce from a Fib level, making a golfing move up, break structure, then I definitely still would take it as a long for the continuation of the uptrend. If it doesn't do that, but instead just keeps on making those lower lows, lower highs, then guess what? I'll just continue to look for sorts every chance I get on the sort of time frame. Going down to the one hour time frame, I'm definitely looking for sorts, but I am keeping a very close eye on these Fib levels. If it makes a Fibonacci bounce and break struts, I will stop looking for sorts and I'll start looking for longs again. If it does not make a Fibonacci bounce, or even if it does make a Fib bounce, but it makes a lower high, lower high, then I will definitely continue to look for sorts on these sort of time frames, at least until we do get a very significant break of struts to the upside, which we do not have as of yet. I still think it could be an ABC correction, but it might just keep on drifting down which is why we're going to continue to look for sorts every chance we get so don't forget to join my free discord channel which is linked down here in the corner and as always thank you and happy trading